My crosscut sled usually isn't very far from my table saw, so if I can find another use for it, that's all the better. So here's one you might want to try for your sled. It's adding a finger joint jig. Now my sled has a T-track built into the top of it that I use for attaching stop blocks and other accessories. This finger joint jig does the same thing, and it's pretty simple to build. There's a plywood face and a plywood back, and that's what anchors with this knob onto the T-track. On the face, you can see there's an indexing key there, and that's what registers the workpiece for making each of the successive cuts as I move down the line. The key part about making and using a finger joint jig is getting that relationship between the key and the slot for the blade just right. In order to do that, this jig has a commercial micro adjust feature built into it so that I can rotate this thumb wheel and move the key closer to or farther away from the blade in order to dial in a nice snug fit right from the saw so there's no more messing around. Now the nice thing about this design for a finger joint jig is that you can adapt it to just about any type of crosscut sled. And if you'll do, you'll find one more reason to keep your crosscut sled right on your table saw. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this tip and you want to see more from Woodsmith, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be uploading woodworking videos and tips weekly. And trigger the bell, that way you get notified when we do upload those videos. Any links for uh, plans or supplies we use for these projects will be down in the description. As always, thank you for watching.